look like that. Let's give me a couple seconds. <laughs> This video is going to be a day in the life of me during quarantine. Well, sort of quarantine. So about two weeks ago, we all got sick. Okay, I need to like stop walking around and sit in one spot. Two weeks ago, we were having symptoms of COVID, feeling really sick, itchy throats, headaches, stuff like that. So we all got tested and we all had it. And of course we quarantined, so we haven't left the house in 14 days. Today, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and pick up some groceries for the first time in two weeks. And I'm gonna get ingredients for a little pasta night we're having. Our favorite thing to do is have a charcuterie board and pasta. So we're gonna do that tonight as a little celebration of us finishing. This morning, I usually have clinical because it's a Friday but I wasn't able to go because of course I would never want to put anyone at risk and be passing it on. So I didn't go and I have a little Teams debrief meeting with them. I just go on Teams and listen to them talk about their patients, which kind of makes me sad because I wish I was there, but next week I'll be able to go. So that's a good thing. I missed two weeks. Um, and so it's over, it's okay, nothing I can do about it now, but it just kind of stinks when I'm sitting there listening to them talk about their patients. But I'm gonna do that Teams meeting with them, and then I have some homework to work on, and I'll probably go to Trader Joe's a little bit later in the day, but that is going to be my big outing for the day. Um, I just thought it would be fun to take you around with me today. So that's what I'm going to do. I just showered, as you guys saw, and now I'm going to make some breakfast, get ready for the debrief. I have to work on a case study, so they gave me a fake patient, and I'm working on it, and I'll present. So I'm going to make some breakfast. I'm really hungry, so let's go in the kitchen. I'm not sure what I'm going to have. I'm thinking oatmeal. I've been trying to eat all my groceries that I got before we went into quarantine. So when I go shopping again, it's like a fresh start. I don't know. I'm like really weird like that with groceries. I just love having all fresh groceries and eating everything that I get. So I feel like I'm using all my money in a good way, if that makes any sense. Does anyone else feel like that? Because... I feel like that's a normal thing, right? I don't know. I've just been throwing the most random meals together of every frozen thing that I have in the freezer, just trying to get rid of it. So when I go shopping, I have like a new fresh slate, nothing in the fridge to go bad. Let's go in the kitchen. Enough of me talking, you're ear off. <laughs> Also, I've been wearing socks with sandals around the house because I don't have any slippers and it's worked well. So, pro tip. There's chocolate chips everywhere. I don't know why. Maybe someone made pancakes. This is the oatmeal that I use from Trader Joe's. It comes in a pack of I think 10 or 12, it's so good. I just rip it open and it's ready to be cooked. It's super easy, I love it. Oh, bad feel. Me and Kelly are the only ones up right now. Oh my God, these are some of the strawberries. Mm. They're good. They're good by August 11th. Ew. That is so gross. I'm surprised. Oh my god, open, 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 open. Oh, it's so full. Oh no. It's not good. Best breakfast. Best part, best part. A perfect little bowl. Finished breakfast and now people are awake. You wanna say hi? Hi. Let's go upstairs. Let's see who's awake up here. Oh, everyone's up. Hello. <laughs> What's that? Oh my god, it looks so. Oh, okay, sorry. Well, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, now it's time to do a little work work on this case study. I think I have a patient, a patient that has 
a gastrointestinal bleed, which is cool because I've never seen that before. Wish I could see it in real life, but I'll just write about it on the computer. I feel like I have so much stuff on my desk today. You know what? Another thing we're going to be doing today, cleaning. That's what we're going to do. This is the book I use. It's so thick. And now I'm just going to type this up. I'm so happy to be in the car. I'm going to the grocery store. Probably one of the things I missed the most when we were in quarantine was going to the grocery store. And that makes me sound like an old woman, but it's the truth. I just love going to the grocery store. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna get some ingredients. We're gonna make like a little cheese board tonight. So I'm gonna get that. I might get some little pumpkin things because it's fall. I saw that they have pumpkin brioche at Trader Joe's. So I might get that. I've been wanting to try that. And then maybe they're pumpkin O's too. But the thing is, is that I can't really taste. I can't smell either. So I think like those two senses just go together, but I don't want to spend a lot of money because I don't know when I'm going to get it back. Every single day I like wake up, eat my breakfast and the first bite, I'm like, am I going to be able to taste it? But it hasn't happened yet. to Trader Joe's I get these and every single time I open them up in the car and have some because they're just so good dried baby sweet pineapple they look so weird but so good I can kind of taste them not really but I know that they're good in my head I guess that makes up for it all right Time to go home. Let's go. I'm so excited. There are so many random men walking around that look like they're very old. I just am wondering what you're doing on a college campus. Maybe they're professors? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just confused. Okay. It's just me. <laughs> Way back. I have one more. Last one. This one's heavy. We're gonna shut the door with my foot. Let's go. Me looking around Trader Joe's for the fig butter. What? Did you find it? Yeah, I found it. This creamy Toscano cheese dusted with cinnamon. Someone said it was really good, so I want to try it. Like, look, there's just cinnamon it's on so cheese. It's so, like, yum. Mm. Of course not. Yeah. Fig and olive crisps. I've never had those before. They look good, though. Strawberries. Constructed to get a lot of red meat by Kelly, so I got two things of salami, prosciutto, and capicola. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Chef's kiss. And sweet potato crackers. Big ass thing of brie, to quote Kara, so I got brie. I got, um, parm. No. Grapes and peas for the pasta sauce. That'll be for our charcuterie board. Is there anything else? Oh, I got an onion for the sauce and then grated parm for the sauce too. Uh, and I think that's all. I have to get the pumpkin bagel stuff. Yay, I'm so excited guys. Can we start cooking now? Well, literally 3 p.m. Later we're gonna film because Ariana's mom owns a pasta sauce business. Blink Wee sisters, sisters, look it up. Very good. But right now, I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Oh, what I'm gonna have though. I have so much frozen stuff, I'll probably just make that to get rid of it.
and we're gonna start cooking soon. Okay, let's go downstairs and see if they started. Cheese time! Okay, let's get this board. Okay, so I showed you guys all the cheeses. I'm really excited about the cinnamon one. Oh, I'm, so I'm so excited. It's kind of hot in here because we're gonna be cooking and like moving around. So I might just wear short sleeves. Let me look. Let me figure it out. These black wedgie jeans and this little leopard print top. The mirror is really foggy, so you can't really see me. But I'm hot inside. So that's what I'm gonna wear for right now for the cooking. Good morning everybody. So I'm at the gym right now. Today's the first day back after not going for two weeks. I don't know, I'm just like nervous right now. I haven't been back in two weeks since we found out that we had Corona and it's kind of nerve wracking. I don't know. I hope that I can still lift as heavy as I did the two weeks. I know my body is probably gonna be really tired so I should definitely listen to it. But it was just frustrating, especially knowing that I couldn't go back for two weeks because I started really lifting five to six days a week at the start of the school year going to the gym. I finally started to see results, you know, with weight training, it doesn't happen overnight. Do it for a couple months before you actually see concrete results and the things you're trying to work on. And I was finally seeing results, so I was just, I guess you could say discouraged when we got corona because then i was like oh i won't be able to go and work out and i know that is kind of stupid to worry about and there's so many other things that people can worry about when they get corona like how am i gonna get groceries that is just like wh where my mind went to because working out is just such a anxiety reliever and it makes me feel so much better and like I'm working on myself. It just makes my whole day better. It gives me more energy and I love it. So I'm really happy to be back. I'm just a little nervous. I don't know, I guess the point of this talk was just me trying to get my thoughts out before I get to the gym. And to just let you guys know that if you can't go to the gym for a couple weeks, it's okay. We're all in the same boat. You'll get back and it'll be great. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. So just tell yourself that if you're in a similar position or you can't go because you're really busy or anything like that. Enough of me talking. Let's just, let's go work out. Today is, what's today? Today's upper body. Upper body and then I'm gonna walk on the treadmill for like 30 minutes at an incline just to get, little listen. I don't want to do hit yet because I was just so, so tired and my body felt really worn down. So I don't want to go too hard today.
just finished. I recorded some of it for you guys, so I will put it in the video if you want a little upper body workout. I feel very, very refreshed. Finished with 20 minutes of walking. I think I said I was gonna do 30, but I'm gonna go to brunch today, so I was kind of running out of time, so I wanted to get it done. I really missed that feeling. That was really nice. I'm happy. It's the little things, you know? Guy in his car is um, staring at me and I didn't realize he was in his car because his windows are really tinted and I'm kind of feeling weird right now. I should just start driving, I think, because let's go home and get ready for brunch. Okay, ignore the messy background. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna wear this one. Oh, Levi's 501 skinny jeans. I cut those. I'm gonna wear this like mock neck sweater it's a little bit cold outside today so i wanted to bundle up a little bit it's raining too um so i think this is what i'm gonna wear and i'm gonna do some homework right now before we leave i have like an hour or so i'm gonna get some stuff done and then i will check back in with you guys during brunch